what's going on guys today we're gonna to be making a video on Tesla and earlier I did make a video on Neo so on one hand we have Neo having a very green day up almost over 80% and right now we have Tesla having a red day down 2.82% and it's funny because these companies were trading complete opposite earlier Tesla was having a huge run Neo was has been selling off for the past few months so if you guys want to catch up on that Neo video I'll have the links probably somewhere around here or after the video or in the description below but before we get this video started don't forget give me a quick thumbs up it helps support the channel and keep this channel alive and if you're new here don't forget hit that notification bell smash that subscribe button and let me know in the comment section which company you prefer Tesla or Neo and why so in this video we're gonna be talking about why Tesla is having a red day today and what happened to this company after having such a huge run in the past week so for now we're gonna jump into my computer So right here we have Tesla charts and as you can see I have this resistance line drawn in right here at around $380 and Tesla has broke past this resistance and went above it and pretty much since it broke above this resistance I was already expecting a pullback from Tesla and every day that Tesla would have a huge run I was pretty surprised by it but I kept saying I won't be surprised to see a pullback it's almost always expected when you see a huge run like that by a company not to mention a huge gap up here so today we have a red day Tesla down only 2.91 percent Tesla has not lost all their gains so it's nothing really concerning to me Tesla is still above this resistance resistance line perhaps this $380 resistance line could start potentially acting as a support we could possibly see Tesla get close to 380 and immediately bounce back off the support line or we could see Tesla break below this resistance line and continue using it as a resistance line I guess it all depends on how Tesla performs in the following quarter so the reason why Tesla is down 2.96 percent today we're gonna get into that real quick so right here we have Tesla stock slides as quarterly vehicle delivery estimate falls short so Tesla stock dropped Monday as an equity analyst sees the company falling short of expectations when it reports fourth quarter vehicle deliveries which are due as soon as this week so Tesla shares fell 3.7 percent but currently down only 2.9 percent and they went as low as 414 dollars and 40 cents during the morning trading on the stock market and that marked the biggest one day decline for Tesla over the last month shares had surged 27 percent over the past three weeks so analysts expect Tesla to report vehicle deliveries for the fourth quarter sometime in the first few business days of the new quarter possibly by Friday the company has consistently said it expected to deliver 360 to 400,000 vehicles in all of 2019 which in all of my previous vehicles I have spoke about this Cowan's analyst Jeffrey Osborne said he sees Tesla delivering 356,000 cars so that's 4,000 cars under Tesla's bare bottom estimate it actually really surprises me that the company would go down just by an analyst estimate I don't know if this analyst has anything backing these numbers up why did he say 356,000 why not 357 why not 355 does he have any proof behind this or any logic behind these numbers and we're going to read this article and hopefully figure out what made him come up with these numbers so the consensus among tesla stock analysts calls for deliveries of more than 105,000 vehicles in the fourth quarter so in my previous tesla video i did talk about how i i want tesla to deliver over 100,000 vehicles and if tesla delivers over 100,000 vehicles then they will reach their bottom goal of 360,000 vehicles delivered in 2019 they see tesla Tesla building roughly 85,300 Model 3s. Analysts also predict a combined total of nearly 20,000 units sold of S and X. Tesla is experiencing demand saturation across most mature markets as we shift from pent up demand to steady flow demand, Osborne said. He raised his price target on Tesla to 210 from 190. That's about 50% below where it currently trades at. So I honestly think this analyst might just be shorting the company and he's just throwing jabs at Tesla right now raising his price target from 190 to 210 when Tesla is currently sitting at 420 which is I think is pretty ridiculous right now and I, if this analyst is correct and if we see Tesla go back down to 210 we all know that 
will possibly create a huge buying opportunity. So at the same time, Osborne raised his fourth quarter delivery estimates to 101,000 from 95,000. The increase is due to better expectations for the Netherlands and China. So in order for Tesla to meet the low end of its estimated range for the year at 360,000, it will need to ship at least 104,500 vehicles in the fourth quarter. That would ex exceed its third quarter record level of 97,000 by 7.7%. The majority of those will be the Tesla Model 3s, but management said in September it planned to boost productions of the Model S and X in response to rising demand. So I guess that's the reason why this analyst expects Tesla to go a little bit below the 360,000 promised by Elon Musk. And he said that he expects the fourth quarter delivery estimates for Tesla to be 101,000 vehicles. So that brings up 4,000 shy of what Tesla has promised to deliver in the fourth quarter. This wasn't really a very negative article about Tesla. I guess in his eyes, he doesn't see Tesla delivering 105,000 plus vehicles this quarter. And therefore, he expects Tesla to not follow through with their promise, delivering a minimum of 360,000 vehicles this year, which I don't think is bad news. If anything, the fact that there's a lot of negative negativity going around, I think that will be better. But on, the only way this could work in Tesla's favor is if they actually deliver 105,000 plus vehicles, because then that will catch all investors, all analysts by surprise. And Tesla will and the Tesla shares will have no choice but to go up because at this point Tesla has overpromised and people are still doubting the company. And then if Tesla delivers after overpromising and after all that doubt, then I think this will push the company up even further. So it's all up to Elon Musk. It's all up to Tesla and their numbers, whether they do deliver 105,000 plus vehicles this quarter. I made a video, my last video, where it says Tesla delivers 100,000 vehicles in Q4, which I think will be easily achieved by Tesla. I do think they will deliver 100,000 vehicles. But now the real question is, will Tesla deliver 105,000 vehicles? And I guess that's just the game changer. That extra 5,000 will put Tesla above 360,000 vehicles delivered in 2019, which Tesla needs just so they can shut all these analysts up. But moving on to some other Tesla news, which is here, Tesla just delivered its first China built cars in Shanghai. So the electric car maker handed over 15 Model 3 sedans assembled at its new multi-billion dollar plant near Shanghai, which is its first outside the US. And it's not gonna be its last because if you guys checked my last video, I did talk about how Tesla is building a gigafactory in Germany, which will open the whole European market. So, but that's not what we're talking about in this video. So he gave these 15 Model 3s to the company employees at the facility on Monday. Tesla took the same approach when it started productions of the sedan in California in July 2017, delivering its first Model 3s to staff. So that's actually pretty nice of Elon Musk. Obviously his workers work real hard. They probably work long shifts and they're the first to get their Model 3s. I don't know if they get discounts on these cars. I wish they would tell us that information, but as of now, no one knows if they got a discount or paid full price for these sedans. So after reaching that milestone for more than two years ago, Tesla went through months of what Musk called production hell. After consistently falling well short of its chief executive officer's ambition targets, the electric car maker burned through billions of dollars and came within weeks of running out of money. Investors have been betting this time will be different with Tesla shares on the tear since the company's reported a surprise quarterly profit in late October. The car maker is on much steadier footing, having worked out the kinks and that limited initial production of the Model 3s. So the China plant is already assembling more than a thousand cars a week and aims to double that rate over the next year, according to Song Gang, the manufacturing director at the facility. So that's some more great news for Tesla. So now they have a gigafactory in the States, a gigafactory in China and in the near future they will have one in Germany and not to mention the fact that they've already done this twice gives them that experience in building that third gigafactory which I expect to be a lot more smoother than the US and then the Chinese gigafactory because they already have experience building it they already know what they're doing and at this point third times the charm so we're gonna see how the how the Germany gigafactory comes through and I think that is expected to be built within the next two years so this Chinese plant represents a cornerstone 
milestone of Musk's plan to make Tesla a truly global car maker. The company's last month announced plans to build a factory in Germany, which I just talked about, to cater to the European demand for electric vehicles. So Tesla's in North America, Tesla's in China, and now they're going to be in Europe. And that is Elon Musk's master plan to make electric vehicles a worldwide thing. So as a part of its China expansion, Tesla also plans to add dozens of locations in the country over the next year for showcasing its vehicles and providing charging and other services. So that's what Tesla did in the US. You can pretty much charge a Tesla almost anywhere in the US. If we look at Tesla's charging maps in the US, I'm not sure if this is the most updated one, but as you can see, Tesla is pretty much everywhere in the States. And I'm pretty sure that's what Tesla plans on doing in China. They just want to spread throughout the whole country. And I think this will attract Chinese buyers even more. The, the only fear about uh, having an electric car is like, where am I going to charge my car next? And in the States, I don't think Americans have that fear because they can literally charge it almost anywhere in the country. And I think China is the next. And I think that's exactly what he plans on doing in China. So the company may lower the price of locally assembled sedans by 20% or more next year as it starts using more local components and reduces costs. So that could mean that the Tesla Model 3s, S's and X's, the price could go down in China, which could bring up sales even more. Um, about 30% of the parts now used by Shanghai facility are sourced locally and the company plans to increase that to 100% by the end of 2020. So that's it for Tesla currently down 3.43%, which the fact that Tesla has finally had a red day, I think that's a good thing. I rather them have a red day now than have a huge run followed by a huge decline. This is something healthy for the company. Huge runs are always followed by declines. I rather see a small decline versus a huge decline. Right now, all the pressure is on Tesla and Elon Musk and whether they were able to deliver 105,000 vehicles. Let me know in the comments section whether you think Elon Musk and Tesla will deliver 105,000 vehicles this quarter or are they gonna go way above it or do you think this analyst is right and Tesla will only deliver 101,000 vehicles, something like that, and not keep their promise of 360,000 vehicles delivered in 2019. But either way, for now, these are huge milestones for Tesla. Gigafactory in China, Gigafactory being built in Ger Germany. As of now, I look at all of this as good news. And the fact that Tesla is, is working to expand in China is just even better news, especially because China has such a huge population this could be really good for Tesla. And of course, we're always going to see some negativity around this company. And in the long or short and in the short term, we might continue to see some volatility for Tesla. For now, I'm not worried about any of this news. The company seems to be in good hands. I'm just going to be patiently waiting for these numbers and to see how many cars were delivered in this quarter. But for now, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget, give me a quick thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that notification bell, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.